Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Salesforce and Chat GPT integrations. Integrations. In this video, we will check how these two powerful platform can work together. I have implemented a small use case on DogBridge where from Salesforce side we will try to send request to OpenAI's GPT-3 which is also known as ChatGPT and then we will try to collect the ChatGPT response and try to display that one in Salesforce UI skin. Now let's check some request response concept on ChatGPT skin. So this is my ChatGPT skin and here if I make some request query something like this give me doberman dog breed details and if I click here so you can see once I send this request chat GPT give me the response like this way so this is basically the doberman dog breed details okay so once I get these details in chat GPT I can understand what is the breed details right similar way what we will do in Salesforce, we will try to send this type of request and whatever the response that come from this chat GPT, we will try to use that response and try to display here. So this is my actually request skin where every bid you can see here in an image format available here all are basically clickable when you click any breed so that will basically you know send a request to chat gpt and from chat gpt whatever the response we get that we will display here so if you see this skin so you can understand that all this skin i have created with the help of lwc so here i basically used a parent component that is basically the left hand side this big panel and under that you can see number of you know dog available in a box right so each basically my child component this is basically a one component and i am trying to iterate that based on the details of dog record i have created here so you can see i have six dog record available here in this you know object which is called dog breed and that i try to collect and based on that each time I am trying to you know display that one with the help of my child component now you can see if my first component parent component this is basically a one LWC component and second each box is basically another child component and once we click here so it will directly call a response with this breed name to chat GTP and from there once I get the response so this is another LWC component where I will try to display the response. So if I show you the details of the you know component, so you can see my top parent level component is dog breed list. This is a LWC component, and under that I have dog breed. So each time based on the number of record I have actually iterate. So these are basically each dog breed component this one this is also a lwc component now once i receive some response so that is basically implemented under this component so you can see here there is another component dog breed details now for this dog breed details and the child component dog breed i use a controller class this is a apex class dog breed controller and from this dog breed controller i called a uh, chat gpt connector helper this is also a custom apex class where actually i create all these request response integrations logic so if you check so this is basically my actual component where i written all these connections from salesforce to chat gpt and based on that i am getting exactly this result so now if you can see if i click on this bigel dog bridge show on the click you can see currently it's in a rottweiler uh, details so if i click here so now it says beagle and the descriptions of the beagle that come from chat gpt it is not coming from any salesforce database it is actually coming from chat gpt and this is coming here similarly if i click on this dash sound dog bridge so once i click you can see that the details of the dash sound is coming here and that is actually coming from chat gpt Similarly, if I click on this Doberman, so it's come the details of the Doberman. Then if I click on the German Shepherd, it will come 
from the chat gpt the details of the german support if i click on this labrador dog breed show you can see the details coming here for this labrador dog breed and finally if i click on this rottweiler so its details come here so whenever you click on any breed on the time of click it will basically hit the server and from chat gpt i am trying to collect the response and that response is basically display here so the total things i did basically three lwc component the first one is the parent one then each box basically a single component that is child one and based on my dog breed details it's basically uh, you know showing here and all these image are available in static resource from there i am collecting this image and using the you know style sheet of lwc so that the look and feel looks very good and finally once we click we will try to create an event and based on that event we are trying to collect the breed details and then based on that breed details we are trying to call the chat gpt uh, with some request uh, or breed details and the questions or query something like that give me the details of this breed and based on that chat gpt give a response and that response is coming here so you can see the integrations allow seamless communications between these two big platforms salesforce and chat gpt and the apex class i use for these connections is chat gpt connector helper and i will try to share this code base in my blog please check the you know descriptions and i will try to share this one very shortly and hope you understand this small use case and based on this you can get an idea how you can you know connect you know salesforce to that chat gpt platform and you can you know create number of rnd so thanks for watching this video and take a moment to like share and subscribe my channel for more great content thank you